uh, understood Director Carvajal, but my time's limited and the buck stops with you, correct? Correct. Okay, and I would suggest leaving the microphone on just in the interest of time. After years and years of documented failures, why would you not be aware of a letter from the chief judge on the Northern District of Georgia citing rats, roaches, emaciation of detainees, lack of access to hygiene products? You wouldn't be aware of that? If it was brought to my attention, Senator, again, assistant If it was director, brought to your attention, or did you proactively familiarize yourself with Senator, conditions Senator, I believe facilities? it's As you know, USP Atlanta is a prison complex that holds pretrial detainees, meaning people who have been charged with crimes but not yet convicted. And as you know, in our country, they are presumed innocent. During our investigation, we have uncovered horrific reports of conditions of incarcer incarceration for all prisoners at USP Atlanta, but in particular for the presumptively innocent pretrial detainees. What, in brief, director, does it mean for a detainee in your custody to be presumptively innocent? Senator, I'm not sure I understand your question. What does it mean for a detainee in your custody to be presumptively innocent? Precisely that, that, that they're presumed innocent until proven guilty. They're going through the system, they're pretrial. That's right, they're presumed innocent until proven guilty. A federal judge in the Northern District of Georgia wrote a letter to the warden of USP Atlanta in January of this year, which I entered into the record earlier in this hearing. I think it's an extraordinary letter. This is from January of this year. It cites credible accounts, this is a federal district judge, in fact, the chief judge for the district panel, of the following issues at USP Atlanta, particularly for pretrial detainees who are presumptively innocent. Quotes, rats in the building, roaches in the food, poor nutrition and emaciation, lack of access to hygiene products, lack of access to medical care, including prescription medication. Quote, a month of 24-hour solitary confinement with only a Bible for entertainment or reading. Quote, a week with only a paper jumpsuit and paper blankets for an inmate on suicide watch without mental health treatment or medication. Have you seen this letter before today? I would have to actually see it, uh, Senator. I get lots of uh, letters, and I'm sure my staff are familiar with it. But you have not seen this letter until today? No. After years and years of documented failures, why would you not be aware of a letter from the chief judge on the Northern District of Georgia citing rats, roaches, emaciation of detainees, lack of access to hygiene products. You wouldn't be aware of that? No one brought that to your attention? Well, Senator, that's ex precisely why I was describing why, how our organization works. We have a regional director that is responsible for oversight of that facility along with the CEO. Thank you, Director Carvajal. You said you took immediate action when these issues were brought to your attention. November 2018, suicide investigation found that staff who initially responded to the medical emergency did not appear to have a sense of urgency. You were the assistant director for correctional programs. August 2019, inspection by the Southeast Regional Office reported missing weapons, significant failures to follow use of force, medical and rape prevention policies, improper or non-use of medical detectors. At that point, you were the assistant director for correctional services. What does it mean to you to hear as the director of Bureau of Prisons a report from your own investigators that staff at this facility lack regard for human life? It's completely unacceptable, Senator. That's precisely why I took the actions that I did when I became aware of it.